Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Penelope. Nesco. Pochita. Four. <laughs> nope. Sorry Damn to say. It. I was close, though. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Dang. Trace. I knew it was one of them. I don't know if you were like, oh, Trace. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to watch this again. Yeah, man. It's getting pretty good. I like that book. That book is crazy. It really blew uh, Azaraphil's mind. It did. Oh, you got rightfully, his name down. Rightfully so. I think that's right. I could be wrong. Sounded right to me. I think so. I was pretty impressed. I'm pretty sure that's how I said it last time. I'm and just, I still don't know if that was I right still or not. I'm just still going with Az. <laughs> AZ. Yeah. Um, and then we'll Crowley. Crowley, Crowley. 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 It's Crowley, yeah. The hell? It scared the shit out of me. It's ghosts. Ghosts? <laughs> yeah. It's the ghosts and demons. <laughs> They're like, just hit play right Yeah, now. okay. <laughs> but we better listen. Hit All play. right, yeah, let's do it. You don't think God knows? Knows everything. Yeah. Theoretically. Mesopotamia. A thousand years later. It never works right. Yeah. All right, we'll have to hit pause and go back. So, giving the mortals a like Netflix is in play. Yeah, you know, she probably played off the snap. Probably a good thing. What's all this about? Just read. From what I hear, <laughs> it's the arc. Just the locals. I don't believe the Almighty's upset with the Chinese or the Native Americans or the Australians. And, yet, and God's not actually going to wipe out all the locals. I mean, Noah out there, his family, his sons, their wives, they're all going to be fine. But they're drowning everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> that way he just went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't kill kids. <laughs> the unicorn. Oh, he said it. Everyone's upset. Be kind to each other. <laughs> That'll do it. I do like seeing them go through time like this, though. What a crazy way that they used to kill people, man. It's ridiculous. I would have living back then would have sucked so bad. Oh. Everyone was just barbaric. Yeah. In <laughs> the Kingdom of Wessex, yes. This is actually before Viking times. <laughs> of course. Something. Every now and again. No. Absolutely not. I am shocked that you even imply such a thing. We're just having this conversation. Not another word. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> This always reminds me of uh, Billy Madison. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, ha ha, you Custom stale is infinite variety. Mm. Oh, I like that. What you want? Let's go. You cannot actually be suggesting. Uh, that outfit is so ridiculous. Yep. Just one of us goes to Edinburgh. Does both. I wonder if, like, in 100, 200 years from now, like, they're going to be like, imagine what they dressed like that. Yeah. With clothes with hoods around them. 
Our respected head offices don't actually care how things get done. They just want to know they can cross it off the list. But if hell finds out, they won't just be angry. <laughs> a miracle. It's fine. French Revolution. Yep. You are the 999th Aristo to die at the guillotine by my hands. <laughs> but the first English. He's, at least he's polite about it. Please. No. How did he even get himself into this situation? I was waiting for her to show up. Only humans do that. Crowley. Oh, good lord. What the deuce are you doing locked up in the Bastille? What the deuce? I thought you were opening a bookshop. I was. I got Peckish. Peckish. <laughs> well, if you must know, it was the crepes. <laughs> Can't get decent ones anywhere but Paris. And the brioche. So you just popped across the channel during a revolution because you wanted <laughs> something to nibble. <laughs> just like that. I have standards. I'd heard they were getting a bit carried away over here, but... No, this is not getting carried away. This is cutting off lots of people's heads very efficiently with a big head-cutting machine. <laughs> you just perform another miracle in your home. I was reprimanded last month. I said I'd perform too many frivolous miracles. Got a strongly worded note from Gabriel. <laughs> lucky I was in the area. I suppose I am. Why are you? I thought you were God of his Get his head cut off now. Just like that, he's asking for trouble. What's for lunch? What would you say to some crepes? <laughs> you ever have a crepe? Um, I don't yeah, know that I, I think have. So. I feel like I probably have, I just don't remember. I would like to go back then, though, like, just to see how, like, the food was, you know? Yeah, it was probably pretty good. Maybe. No, well, in the good area. Depending yeah. on where you went, yeah. What did it all go wrong? They have a lot in common, you know. I don't know. We may have better start it off as angels, but you are for them. I didn't really fall. I just, you know, sauntered vaguely downwards. I need a favor. <laughs> that has crazy. We have the agreement, Crowley. Stay out of each other's way. Lend a hand. This is something else. <coughs> I like pears. If it all goes wrong, I want insurance. What? I wrote it down. Walls have ears. Well, not walls. Trees have ears. Ducks have ears. Do ducks have ears? Fraternize with angel. Of course you do. I don't need you. Well, and the feeling is mutual. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Yeah. So fun. Mocking people's the way they talk. <laughs> World War Two. WW two. Why is he helping the fear? Oh no, that's that's uh Sherlock. The brother. Sherlock's brother. Which is I can't remember his name. Well all of them. It never sold a single copy. But I found the publisher's catalogue yeah, for sixteen fifty five. And it does list one of Agnes Nutter's prophecies. A prophecy for nineteen seventy two. Do not buy Peter Max. <laughs> Who is Peter Max? <laughs> Peter Max. I, no I would pass it on to the Fuhrer. These volumes of prophecy will be in Berlin by the end of the week. The Fuhrer will be most grateful. Mycroft. <laughs> Such a pity you must be a Luger. But take heart. Just another death in the bliss. That's not very sporting. Oh, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. Where exactly are your people? Is she a double double agent? We are all here. Mm. Allow me to introduce Fräulein Gretchen Fleisch. Please. <laughs> 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 
Würstchen von Händler reingelegt. Gut gemacht. Das kann ich schwer bieten. Er ist sehr leichtgläubig. Pay for a sucker. I must remember that. Pay for a sucker. You were played for a sucker. He, she, it <laughs> will be played for a sucker. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Killing you. <laughs> you can't kill me. There'll be paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like you try again. Say. We take a last minute demonic intervention to fill more goals. <laughs> You're all wasting your money on running away time. And if uh, in 30 seconds a bomb does that here, yeah, it would take a real miracle for my friend and I to survive it. A, a real miracle. <laughs> I like how he's like trying to like tell him what to do. It's <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> I'm just standing there. That was very kind of you. <laughs> Shut up. Well, it was. No paperwork for start. Oh, the books! Oh, I forgot all the books! Oh, He's such a dork. I love it. There she is. Yeah, I'm still on it. And he gave him his books back. Yep. Best friends. Best friends. <laughs> Every time he gets into trouble, he gets <laughs> every single time. He's bailed him out every single time. It's never gone the other way. No. You're the muscles. You'll be holding on the ropes. And she'll be going down on the ropes, then. Who are you? I understand you're the locksman. I was expecting Mr. Narco. Well, Mr. Narco's passed on to his reward. I've taken over the business. He was my cellmate. He taught me everything he knew. My name is Shadwell. Please. Sit down, Mr. Shadwell. Last Corporal. Shadwell. If you don't mind. So what's so valuable that they Oh, that was the same last name alive. as the guy we'll the in the last one. I remember with the he was in the the present time I went with the dorky talk with the glasses. Very well compensated. Shadwell. It was Shadwell? Yeah. The one that like made him pay for his yeah, the witch guy, the witch hunter guy, yeah. Stealing from a church. There's no witchcraft involved here. Is that? No. Completely witch. Drop me on it. Thank you. I was so disappointed. Perhaps one day we could. I don't know. Go for a picnic. Yeah, anyway, one of them. You go too fast. <laughs> Sorry. My number. <laughs> yep. I'll, I'll just go to the head office and. This is like a two part episode. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so, Gabriel, um, listen. Gabriel, yes. Like most holy archangel Gabriel is too formal. Um, hello, Gabriel. May I meet? Uh, a, a, a child we, we have to deal with and, and make everything okay again. Hello, Gabriel. Um, just thought you ought to know that you to an unfortunate mix-up in a hospital. Uh, the Antichrist has been mislaid. But it's all right, because I've found him. He's living in the English village of... Tadfield. And his 11th birthday was the start of uh, the end of things. Um, I have his address, and so we just have to eliminate him now. Then everything could still be okay. Uh, you have an enormous hellhound with him. He won't be hard to spot. <laughs> this was full blown panic attack. Insofar as the hellhound had had any expectations. What he had imagined life would be like in the last days before well, something book and I'll just get a bit much. I can help you look for it. Oh, that's sweet. It's been my family for a while. That's what she's looking for, right? Him, yeah. Yeah, and the hellhound. 
you've lost, especially the bit in the spaceship where the dinosaur comes out and fights with the cowboys. I need to cheer you up, my book. I'm Adam. This is my world, from Hogbackwood to the dip, and from the old quarry up to the pond. You haven't seen two men in a big black vintage car, have you? Did they steal them? Professional book thieves probably go around in their car stealing books. No, no, no. <laughs> they didn't mean to steal it. Do you want some lemonade? Are we going to have to break into the cottage and battle the witch for it? That's my cottage. I'm renting it. Look, excuse me for asking. If it's not a personal question, you keep him if he's properly trained. <laughs> now, dog, go, go inside. inside. <laughs> Wasn't that hard, was it? The hellhound entered the cottage hmm. and a little bit more of hell burned away. That's weird. It's supposed to protect, but he was obviously stronger, I guess. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> this kid again. <laughs> Do you think there's ever actually been an army of them, or has it just been this one family? Probably at one point. I feel like he's t he talked about it, but it's the same way the other guy talked about it back in time. Pulsifer. Right? Yeah, yes. shot. I think he's the shot. Well. Strictly speaking, Shadwell doesn't run yeah. the Witchfinder army. According to Shadwell's pay ledgers, it is run by Witchfinder General Smith. Under him are Witchfinder Colonels Green and Jones. And Answer my question. Majors Jackson, Robinson, and Smith. Then there are Witchfinder Majors Saucepan, Tin, Milk Bottle, Deceased, and <laughs> Yeah, it's all fake, I think. Shadwell's limited imagination had been beginning to swirl sleigh lines, invisible lines of force, licking places of power. The reason there be all these invisible lines of force are we not see them. We can see us. Well, this colored force field surrounding someone. Everyone's got one. And I can look at the strings and color. She's going to do him and then realize that something's off. Hey, why do they teach us about them at school? Because schools are oppressive to the state. So what colors am I one of them? Do me next. Um, I can't see aura. You said everybody's got one. I don't know what that means. An art. So what else do they teach in the school? They're cutting baby seals. They're cutting down the rainforest. But she knows all this, like it's as a fact, right? Isn't yeah, but she's only telling them bad things, so it's probably like feeding into the. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. We went on a school trip, and there was nothing bubbling, and there wasn't any green smoke, and there weren't anyone in those spacesuits, and it was so dark. Well, yes, but we need to get rid of them. So it's not right for not bubbling. Um, I have to get back to work. But if you're interested in any of this stuff, I have some old magazines here. You don't have to read them if you don't want. Oh, so they're going to find the, the right. witch hunter guys are going to find him with these books. Yep. to understand what was going on if she understood the life. So it was too big. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That so powerful. Yes, this is why I'm waiting for more hands. You got something big? Also. Somewhere else? <laughs> Itself, you know. 
That was tough for me to even watch him struggle through that. Stut yeah, stutter his way through oh. everything. This is what I need more of. That's crazy. Obviously, red is bad. I would think so. That's why she keeps giving him dirty looks. RP Tyler. Nickel is a perfectly respectable village. If you're coming here to smoke your fatty spliffers and bring you off to Wooland, <laughs> your fatty spliffers. I was not expecting him to say that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, Ham's pissed. What did you think of that thing? That cylinder has been down there too long. I don't trust him. Hypotheticals indeed. <laughs> Again. Yeah, there's too many miracles going on. Which way does Sergeant Shadwell, please? Or, um, one of his officers? So is he, that was for his agents too? Just like their Crowley's too? Yeah. They've all got the same ones. I can give you his address. I'll put the squad and my best man onto it. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Know what I should have asked about? Which might have made you more popular? Panic frost in summer, wither in the crops after some hag got into an argument with a farmer. No, it's just, it always has perfect weather for the time of year. We call that a phenomenon. Normal weather for the time of year isn't normal. Uh, crisp autumns, long, hot autumns. That would be weird. The kind of weather you used to dream of as a kid. It snowed there every Christmas Eve for the last 11 years. It's not interesting. Just look for witches. And, and which cause phenomena. Is that where he lives, though? Is that why it's like everything's perfect? Because he wants all these nice things? Raven Sable. Probably. But you know him by another name. He loves hunger. Oh, boy. He loves people not eating enough in fancy restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the plates are small. On a reduction of broccoli gel with a mushroom foam. And the chef recommends that you have this first. A balloon filled with lavender scented air is the first course. <laughs> this would be Dave's number one enemy. <laughs> I look like he always complains. I've never seen a room full of rich people so hungry before. He's a businessman with a chain of restaurants. And he's about to launch something new. Ciao. Food free food. Artificial bun, artificial burger, fries that had never seen a potato. Foodless sauces and we're rather proud of this. A completely artificial dill pickle. The shake doesn't contain any actual food content either. Well nobody shakes contain any actual food content. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it out. That'd be so weird. So what do you do, just eat it and it's like a plastic? Nothing. Still hungry. It's chow. Chopper and duck food contains one platter of more than protein molecules designed to be eaten by your digestive enzymes. No calcium, sugar, replacement, fibers, materials, colorings, and flavorings. Chosen edible substance that will probably confuse the food. Eating chow can help you to lose weight. Turn, eating function. I want this guy again. Martin Amisable. Flows in. Looks around. I thought tall gent with a beard. Nice suit. It's a package for you, sir. Oh. The measuring scale. A blind inlet. I'll let the 
jet now. When are you returning? Who knows? Cancel all my appointments. For how long? The foreseeable future. <laughs> Chow. <laughs> that is so Don't stupid. call food. Because <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Oh, is it because what's his name's living there, Adam? Yeah. That's, oh, okay. I was thinking. That's like it was, Rolly and I Yeah. No, I'm saying with the weather. Is that why it's perfect? Because of him being there. Is that the old bandstand, the number nineteen bus? The bandstand. I'll be there in fifteen minutes. Dad. Do you know that there are ley lines everywhere? Uh, no, Adam, ley lines are rubbish. Uh, oh, you'll like this bit, Deirdre. They've taped the gun up under the chair. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's the worst. I'd magazines if it was rubbish. You're tied to a chair. There's people from Tibet watching everything we do through hidden tunnels. Why did that specifically freak them out? Do you think he's alright? Why would he think that? You know what I mean? Well, because he's reading the magazines. Yeah, but that's not a good thing to be. No, I know, but it was just like. I figure once he brought the ley lines, they would be like. Oh, that know? would be, yeah. Um, but maybe, like, it, now it's like two witch type things that he said. It's like, he means it. Can you use. Um, what, what kind of news would that be? Well, you found the missing antichrist's name address and shoe size yet. It's shoe size? Why? Why would I have a shoe size? He's a German. <laughs> it's, it's the great plan, Crowley. Yeah. For the record, great pustulant mangled bollocks to the great blasted plan! Hey, you forgive me? <laughs> well, never. I'll have a demon's job description. Unforgivable, that's what I am. You were an angel once? That was a long time ago. Very long time ago. My agents can do it. And then what? Eliminate him? Someone does. I'm not personally up against him. I'm the nice one. I don't have to kill the children. If you kill him, then the world gets a reprieve and heaven will not have blood on its hands. Oh, no blood on your hands? That's a bit holier than now, isn't it? I am a great deal holier than now. That's the whole point. You should kill the boy yourself. Holy. I'm not killing anybody. This is ridiculous. You are ridiculous. I don't know why I'm still doing this. Well, frankly, neither do I. No, I mean, you can't leave Crowley. There isn't anywhere to go. It's like, if God knows everything, like, wouldn't yeah. God know that this is going on? So that's what always makes me think it's like a part of it. Go off together. Listen to yourself. How long have we been friends? Six thousand years. <laughs> We're not friends. We are an angel. Maybe he's gonna eventually have to go back and help him and like save get him out of some of this. Because you know he doesn't mean that, obviously. He's such a he's just so, he's such a terrified little worm. Not a worm, but you know what I mean. Dork. Scaredy cat. Right. What the hell? I think they're just voices. Yeah, but is like he hearing him? And why we had a nuclear plant after he was just reading about it? Yeah, maybe whatever he thinks happens. He's the Antichrist. That's a bit impossible. <laughs> it's just gone. This is a joke. 240 megawatts of power are currently being produced by this power station. It's just, according to our indicators, what do you mean I have to authorize it? Is, Is there, there anyone else? Oh, so that he's keeping the power there, no, but I'm the minister. Exactly what it says. Well, well then, yes. Yeah, that's why the weather's so perfect. Yeah, okay. It's all I got it. Not that noise again. <laughs> Damn Chernobyl noise. Yeah, get that thing out of here. Oh, 
That was what was on his thing, right? Yeah. I really am enjoying this show a lot. I like it a lot. Um, it, I feel like I had a smile on my face that whole time. It's Crowley and, and yeah. ass. They're fucking funny as hell, man. It's Crowley, really. They, well, because they're such opposites. And what is it? Azer, Azer, Azeraphil. Azeraphil. He's, he's like such he's a dork. such a nerd. Right. But like, I don't like, I don't mind that as much as like, I don't like that he won't admit that he's like his friend after 6,000 years well, of Well, because he's Crowley. so terrified of Ham. Something happening Gabriel. to himself. Yeah. Well, from all of them. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why I think like eventually he's going to like do something to like help him. Help him. He yeah. has to. It won't be right if the if he doesn't do something to help him. I'm gonna be very upset with him. I'm also curious too because I like recently heard that they were doing a season two of this. I think so. If that's the case, obviously this doesn't. End. I wonder like if this this season gonna be its own story and then the ne- next season would be another story. Yeah, maybe. You know? Well, it could be however this one ends that it would be how they get dealt with <laughs> by their respective parties. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if like. They're gonna leave. They leave this season on like a cliff, like a slight cliffhanger. You know, we'll see. You said there's only what six episodes, mm-hmm. so we really only have three more. Yes, sucks, right? Yeah, we're exactly halfway through. Yeah, I don't know. I like it a lot. It just cracks like the banter. Everything the that they were showing, going through the history. Oh, that that was great. I forgot about that because this was like two parts. This episode there was yeah because they had that whole thing and then they snap back. To but, reality. Yeah, but I like that though because then the end makes it like makes it more sense. You know, if you didn't have that, those flashbacks to like see the relationship throughout, like and how he saved him his ass all the time. Yeah. I think they intentionally show that to like show like why it's like fucked up. Which makes me think he is gonna definitely do something eventually to Well, they have to do something, otherwise it's the end of the world. No, I know, but I mean just specifically for him. But I'm sure it'll be a part obviously it's gonna be connected to what they're doing, you know. I think. Cause, and it's also hilarious that like they both keep saying they have these agents and it's the same they have the same one and it's yeah. one dude. So I wonder what yeah. Well no, there there's a couple of them, I think. I don't think so. Well, they listed off a, a couple of people, unless they were all fake. I, I think they were that it's was just him and this kid now? I think that was the intention behind it. Which makes me think because I was wondering like in the beginning of the episode when we saw his ancestor unless that's uh, that's what confused me. Maybe back me. then there really was. Well, I don't. That was the, my first part of that question. Was like, was the, was it this one guy Maybe, in this family? They just keep doing the same thing where they say they have the. But then, like, he's been working for Crowley for how long? Like, at least his family. If that, if that's, I don't think that's obviously the same guy. No, but it, it, it's just no. this is one of his relatives. So, right. and it's just been passed down, and like they keep knowing to go to this guy. But like, wouldn't they like look at this guy and be like, how is this guy same guy still alive? Like. Or is he able to like make that not realize? Yeah, who that? knows? I guess they can just do whatever they want, more or less. Yeah, and it's like what I said during the episode too. Like, if God is all knowing and knows this whole thing, is narrating she know it, everything. Like, they're gonna be like, I feel like by the end of this, they're gonna be like, God's gonna be like, no, they did. Yeah, it right. it's like when he's like lying to her about where the sword went. It's like, uh, hey, idiot. Yeah, I think like, she has an idea where the sword is. <laughs> right, exactly. It's like <laughs> she doesn't even just misplace it. You of all people should know that. Right. Unless she doesn't. That well, it's always like we we had the same questions in Lucifer. Like was like how much do they know? But it always seems like when you see them, They're like you hear them talk, they do know everything now. Yeah. That does make me miss uh, God I and know. Lucifer. <laughs> that was great. Um, yeah, I'm curious. It's crazy that that kid. Like, at first, I thought it was because Azera felt like I thought he was the one like creating the miracles, making like the weather perfect and everything because he was living there. Then I put obviously figured it out in my head and realized it was no, it's because that's where the Antichrist kid lives, Adam. Yeah. And everything. And that makes more sense now at the end that confirms it like that for sure that he just once he like thinks something and believes in it, I guess. Once he, it's a, like a dream. Pretty much his, the dreams come true or something, because that was why I think that's why he worded it like it's like a. The weather that you would picture in your dreams is what he said, right? Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. So like when he – and then but as soon as he went to sleep, happened. he was dreaming about the, the, the nuclear, nuclear power plant. And, like not needing it. Right. Not needing nuclear power. And then all of a sudden his little piece of candy is power <laughs> nuclear power plant. Imagine. I'm just curious to see like how they handle – like 
I have to imagine they're just going to eventually like leave this kid alone and like, but like how, like, no, I don't think so because don't the four horsemen come out? In, no, I know, but event, like, I'm saying like eventually, I don't think like they're going to actually kill this kid. Um, Azarafel. And and I don't the show. Yeah. It's, I don't think they're going to kill him. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't know. That's why I'm just Who curious. Knows? But like, how do you let, you have to keep an eye on him at least? Maybe that's like what their job is then. After they well, that was what it was supposed to be, so that he would not name the dog. But once he named the dog, he set the war in in motion. So I don't know if there's any avoidance. But it's so stupid. It's because like he didn't know he was doing that. Yeah. No. Using the he didn't. <laughs> well, that's why I think it's eventually God's going to be like, no, no, this was all a test. You know, like could be. That I'm, could I'm be. I'm stepping in now. Yeah, that could be. Who knows? Because it's also like God narrating it too, so makes you think like just, she knows everything. So right, she knew this was gonna happen. Hell, uh, what's her face knew it was gonna happen? What was her name? The witch. Agnes. Agnes. Yeah. Agnes. Uh, Mutter. Agnes. I don't remember the last name, but Agnes I'm pretty sure Rush, it was. I don't remember. Something. Agnes Mutter. Which is all you gotta do is read her book. You know what happens. Well, yeah. If she made it that far. That's my wonder. She might have just made it to this fight. And that's but she also, it. like, isn't really doing it, like, in order. It's like, oh, in 19 whatever, like, 1985, don't buy the Betamax. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that whole, like, scenario was hilarious. Everything though, like, is. This show is, like, really hilarious throughout the entire episode. The guillotine like, guy. But also, like, does a good job of, of maintaining, like, a serious Story. plot line. Right. Well, because it, I think it's just the... The scenarios the that they're in is are so are, they make it funny. Well, yes, I'm, but I'm saying like the scenarios that they're dealing with are so like, serious, right? Yeah, you're dealing with angels and demons, right? But they're just making a joke of it, which I love. But not get, like not like intentionally. These no, days. right? They're just getting themselves in trouble. Well, it's how you would be if like if you couldn't die. And you would live forever. Like, how fun would that be? So, Crow, obviously, Aziraphil was was sent there to watch over him, right? No, well, eventually, when the kid was born. But why was, why did those two, like, what are they, what were their main jobs originally? Like, why were they both on Earth? Crowley causes trouble. He was the snake in the garden, and he was, he was like the angel in the garden. Like, supposed to be protecting right. him. But now, like, why would they still be, like, on... Is it just... Do they he does good and, the they d- yeah, and he okay. does bad. Well, just like they were talking in the beginning about, like, you have to, like, hit a quota for Mary. Like, he was doing too many miracles. Right. <laughs> he got all good grades. <laughs> right. It's like, or that's what marks. they do. He's getting good markings because, like, the, of the French Revolution and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he's creating too many miracles. <laughs> right. That's hilarious. That's what a funny... Concept. Yeah. I know. I like it, too. It's really good. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.